This is a semi-final battle in the Milk and Cookies Total War tournament, where I am coming up against the Wolf Blade Master. He had the first Maxion pick, uh, Maxion pip pick. That's a mix of map and faction pick. You heard it here first. A Maxion pick, Maxion pick. So he had the map pick and the first faction pick. So he picked the Seleucids and Parthia on. Uh, the first pick was Migdol, I believe, but then we changed it because it was uh, a bit unbalanced. So we picked Alexandra, nice and balanced map, with Sandstorm and Night. I picked uh, Averni and... did I pick Averni and Tylus? Uh, I, think, I think I did. I think he banned Tylus and then I banned Parthia. So it's going to be Seleucids versus Averni on Alexandra at night. With a sandstorm. And uh, the thing about the night battle is that it's going to give all units on the field a morale debuff. And that might be very dangerous for my low morale uh, mainline infantry units. But I went for a fairly standard Arverni build. I have six chosen swords. I have a strategist general. I have two spear warriors. I have three levy freemen. Five heavy horse. And two Celtic slingers. I'm starting out in the forest here. Um, <laughs> you know me as uh, Maximus Forestimus Campimus, so obviously charging across here is going to be absolute suicide, because I can see there are mercenary Syrian armored elephants. And then there's a peculiar choice, because there are three horse skirmishers here, and when I see these units and a unit of hillmen, I'm thinking, okay, he'll probably try to surround me with cavalry, tie down my infantry, tie down my skirmishers, and then just wreck me with his elephant. So I need to be a bit careful here because I need to screen the, I need to screen the horse skirmishers with my levy freemen. But if I do that, then I might be open for flanking from this side, or I might be open for getting my general charged by the armored elephants. So this is potentially dangerous and this is why I'm not moving up here because I don't want to keep pushing forward while there are horse units running around in the forest. Uh, the forest should make their javelins less effective but they should still do a lot of damage to my heavy horse. Here they are coming out of the forest so I'm just going to start screaming, screening them a bit with my levy freemen. But I'm not too happy about having to screen these units with levy freemen because that means that my front is going to be very open, and there is nice terrain here where Blade Master is going to be able to to move up towards me on scene. But I'm confident in my position because over here he has to charge across a stretch of forest, so that should slow down his uh, unit significantly. He gets some volleys off on my on my heavy horse, and he kills the heavy horse. Because the uh, horse skirmishers have 41 missile damage and a bonus versus cavalry. So these units left alone can absolutely wreck heavy horse. And they are so fast that it's going to be hard to protect all angles with slingers. And it's not going to be really effective firing through this forest either. So Blade Master is doing well here and just giving me a lot of things to consider. Trying to mirror these horse skirmishers. I'm going to send off a spear warrior to try and tr throw some javelins on the horse skirmishers. And what I want to do is make the horse skirmishers move around a lot. You can see that they are active now. So ideally I want to start making them tired so they are slower and easier to hit with my Celtic slingers. Moving up towards the edge of the forest here. And you can see I'm keeping a very very dense formation. And that's because I don't want the elephants to be able to completely wreck my lines. And I want to keep a strong front. Um, so that I'm able to withstand cavalry charges as well. So just l using the levy freemen to screen against the horse skirmishers. But that will of course mean that my levy freemen are not available for um, for throwing javelins at the mercenary Syrian, Syrian uh, armored elephants. So it's a good idea what um, Blade Master is doing here. Making sure that my some of my javelins are indisposed in dealing with horse skirmishers. Over here I might get the volley off, and I do, taking down 7 with my Levy Freeman. So that was nicely done by them. But I'm not sure that using javelins against these horse skirmishers is the best use of javelins, because the elephants are approaching. Here I see some Hellenic cataphracts coming out of the forest. His horse skirmishers are moving in close. I'm pulling back my Celtic slingers, giving attack orders. But I'm not sure that I'll be able to get off volleys before these guys run out of range. 
I'm able to get some shots off on them, but they actually managed to hide over here, so I'm going to lose my attack orders on them. So it looks like Blade Master is going to try to flank me here with Hellenic artifacts. Uh, while he's keeping me busy with these horse skirmishers, not a bad plan. The elephants are moving up, and I don't have any good skirmishers to counter the elephants. It's going to take a ton of time to destroy uh, Syrian armored elephants with uh, Celtic slingers. I'm just going to pull back a bit because there are units moving m moving towards my flank, so I want to uh, want to move back a bit and tilt my lines to face the potentially face the flanking forces. I do have a lot of heavy horse here that should be able to tie down cataphracts and do well against them in the forest. So here come the cataphracts. <laughs> Blade Master pulled an MLG ambush on me. It looks like he's going to try and uh, tie down my infantry and then... Uh, here we go, charging in with the cataphracts. Spear warriors getting wrecked. Charging into the flank of the chosen swords, very nicely done. I matched them with my heavy horse so they're not able to really engage me as effectively as they need to. This is only a gamma cavalry. In the center, I'm getting charged as well, but I'm in a very dense formation, so the Hellenic cataphracts are not able to push through. I'm going to send in my Levy Freeman, I'm going to send in my Heavy Horse to stop the Agama Cavalry from pushing through, and I'm able to do a lot of damage to the Agama Cavalry this way. The Armored Elephants are coming in, I don't have anything to, to counter them with just yet, but I did send in my Spear Warriors. The Spear Warriors uh, managed to throw their Javelins, they have counter cavalry tactics there we are javelins on the Syrian uh, armored elephants but you can see how poorly the elephants are pushing through because there's a lot of cavalry here uh, I am in a dense formation so now the mercenary Syrian armored elephants are going to start running amok which is massive on the flanks I'm not doing well with levy freeman and spear warriors but I am holding off doing some damage to the gamma cavalry doing a lot of damage to the gamma cavalry actually sending out my uh, chosen swords against the hillman the heavy horse is there so that when uh, the Hellenic artifacts try to disengage, they take a lot of damage. Hillmen don't have a chance against Chosen, of course. But there are units in my back line that I need to deal with, so I'm sending in some heavy horse to deal with the horse skirmishers. The elephants are not doing well because they're in a forest. And they are... you can see how super dense my formation is. I also have a lot of horse units here, so... These elephants are actually taking a lot of damage. I also have my spear warriors in here. And although I am losing men quickly, I'm doing a lot of damage to the Syrian armored elephants. They are exhausted and they're going to be very slow now. And I'm getting in a lot of hits against the mercenary Syrian armored elephants. Also, um, when the charge happened, I activated shield wall. So you can see how big of a problem the elephants have in pulling through my lines. Blade Master's units are all over the battlefield. But he's losing a lot of Gamma Cavalry, he's losing a lot of Hellenic Artifacts, now the Hellenic Artifacts managed to get into my Slingers. My Slingers didn't really do much. Uh, we have Chosen Swords up against Hillmen, they're going to do well there. Chosen Swords are going to do well against Hillmen and Hellenic Artifacts that are exhausted. So overall this is looking doable for me because the Syrian Armored Elephants were neutralized by my dense formation. I didn't have a lot of skirmishers to deal with them, so I popped Headhunt on my Oathsorn, and I have attack orders with a lot of units on the Armored Elephants. So now they're going down just to melee and to spears and to, to Oathsorn. So here, potentially very dangerous, a rare charge from Hellenic Artifacts, doing a lot of damage to my Oathsorn General. The fair effect from the Elephants is still there. So I'm just trying to keep away units of a Gamma Cavalry and Hellenic Artifacts, trying to keep them from rear charging my lines, and it works somewhat. Getting stuck on a unit of Levy Freeman over there. The Hillmen are getting defeated. The Hellenic Artifacts are super depleted. Uh, some of my units are uh, wavering and routing because um, they, do, they are frightened. They are attacked in the rear and they have, I believe it's a minus 5 penalty from fighting at night. So these uh, Heavy Horse are fighting at a lot less morale than what they had originally. Luckily though, I'm able to take care of the mercenary Syrian Armored Elephants without them really being able to do much. And that is mainly because of the forest and the shield walls. They're not able to move effectively under these conditions. Another unit of a Gamma Cavalry going down, got some nice kills. Turning around my swords to face the uh, Hellenic Cataphracts. And now the elephants are... looks like the elephants are dead. The general is about to go down as well. So Blade Master's strategy almost worked here, super risky to engage in a forest like this. But since he had no skirmishers other than horse skirmishers, he really didn't have a choice. 
the general is going down, and that's it, basically. So, the reason why I was able to stop the elephants uh, as easily as I did was because I was in a dense formation. I had a narrow front. I had a lot of cavalry in to stop the movement of the elephants, and then I was basically just able to grind it out. On, a f on an open map, this could have been a lot more effective for Blademaster, but then he wouldn't have been able to sneak up his units onto my flank like he did, so... A blade master got more kills, but he just brought such a small army. He got a lot of nice kills on his Elena cataphracts, but the main thing that broke him here was uh, the mercenary Syrian armored elephants dying. And you can see that none of my units are really doing well, but these chosen swords that got two chevrons, they killed elephants. And I suppose these units as well were instrumental in killing elephants because they were in a dense formation. They had um, they had the shield wall. And that enabled them to to kill the elephants um, fairly fairly decisively. So taking the engagement in the forest was risky for uh, for Blade Master, but um, then again, I would never have not on Alexandria. He picked the map, so I would never have engaged him in the open. If he didn't flank me on the uh, on my on my right side, I would have moved up through the forest the entire time and. Um, would have been much safer against the Hellenic Cataphracts and against the mercenary Syrian armored elephants for it. So bringing just a lot of elite cavalry for the Slukids can be super, super risky. Um, it almost worked for Blade Master. It was a nice idea with the horse skirmishers and tying down units with hillmen uh, to stop them from throwing their javelins, but um, it's going to be very difficult to make things like this work, especially on especially on a forested map like Alexandria. So, I won the first battle. It's a best of three, so let's see what happens in the next battle. Strength and honor.